Welcome to Tech Notice. So you bought yourself a new SSD or a hard drive and you want to upgrade the storage or add storage to your PC and you think it's as simple as plugging it in and it's going to show up. It kind of isn't and it kind of is. So if you're not sure, in this video, you're going to find out exactly how to install a brand new hard drive or SSD. First of all, I want to say thank you for Team Group for sending out this SSD in order to create this tutorial for you guys. So if you want to pick up this one, the link for this is in the description. But let's take a moment and actually appreciate this SSD because this just looks absolutely gorgeous. T-Force Vulcan SSD over here. We've got Chrome trims on the side, one terabyte in size. Amazing. What I've already done with the PC is I've taken out both sides of the panels so panels from the back and then the glass from the front because we're going to need access to both of the sides always good tip to have is do not plug your pc in or don't work on your pc while it's connected to the power now you need two things in order to connect to your pc you need power and signal so power we're going to get from the pcu and if you've seen my tutorial on this build you can check it out over there we've got some already plugged in if you haven't then just take some and plug in the sata cables over there over here we have already one plugged in that's got like three on the end so we can just plug that one into the ssd in my case if you have this case you'd actually have to screw this ssd in over here on the sides but if you have a more high-end case or maybe a better case then you can already have like a quick release in the back over here and you can quick release them and then you have sata cables that connect to the motherboard so it depends which ones you're going to go for. There's two types that come with my motherboard and maybe it's the same with your, yours, but I'm going to use the one that has like an L bracket on one side and then go straight on one side. Basically, the SSD goes over here and then we're going to plug in the power and the SATA. First, I'm going to plug in a SATA cable to the motherboard and if we're going to get a very close up shot over here, then there is six SATA pods here on the motherboard, okay? And we're going to use one of these over there, okay? I don't know if you can see over there. So I'm going to put this cable through and there's a SATA over here with the L bracket on and we're just going to plug it in over here. And there we go, it's plugged in into the motherboard. Now it doesn't really matter which SATA port you're going to plug it in, but that's it. Let's turn it back to the other side. So now we have the power and the signal. So we're going to plug in the power first, doesn't matter which you go first, and signal. You can't really go wrong in the back over here. They only go one way, so that's it. So I'm going to leave it hanging like that over here. I'm going to fix it, screw it in later, but for the tutorial, we're going to take, put the monitor in, plug the power back in, and then turn the PC on. So as you can see over here, there is no SSDs plugged in. It doesn't appear over here. What you have to do is you go to Disk Manager, or this Create and Format Disk Partitions. And over here, as you can see, we have this one disk over here, disk zero, that is almost one terabyte. So 931 gigabytes. We know that that is that SSD that's plugged in over there because there's nothing else. I can see that my OS drive, which is the C drive or disk one over here, 256 gigabytes. We have removable disk or the USB stick in the back over there. And then we have this one over here. So how do we make this appear on the you know system so you can actually use it? It is really simple. Just go on this black bit over here, unallocated space, right click, new simple volume, next, next. Make the name if you want to name it any other letter, you know, whatever you want. Next, file system, if you want it, you know, NTFS, that's the default one, sounds good. Name it, I'm gonna name it Vulcan, one terabyte. Perform a quick format, that's all good. Click next, finish, formatting, and boom, it's done formatting and it's just appeared over here. So when you go to test PC over here, we can see a Vulcan one terabyte SSD. Okay, and we can just copy files over there and then it's working perfectly fine. Now this works exactly the same if you have a hard drive or SSD, that process is exactly the same. Now, after I have installed the SSD or hard drive, what I like to do is just to do a quick speed test on it to see if it's performing exactly as it should 
and things like that. If you don't have that program already, you can download this on the Microsoft Store. It's all free, but it's called Crystal Disk Mark over here. We're gonna open this over here. We're gonna select the hard drive we wanna use, which is D in our case over here, as you can see the 931 gigabytes. And then we're just gonna perform a test and let it start over here. And then pretty soon we're gonna see the test results. So as you can see, we've got some test results in at the moment over here. We're getting absolutely amazing, amazing results. 564 read megabytes per second and write as 525 megabytes per second. I have in my main editing computer, I have another SSD drive and the read and write speeds over there are 482 and 412. A write speed actually is over 100 megabytes per second faster and the read speed is almost 100 megabytes, 80, around 80 megabytes per second. So absolutely amazing, amazing speed of the SSD. And that's how simple it is to install your new SSD or hard drive. Also, I forgot to mention that you can do exactly the same with an M.2 drive. So if you've got an NVMe drive that slots into another NV, uh, M.2 slot on your motherboard, you slot it in there and then exactly the same way you can see it over there and format it and then do exactly the same. So if you want to find out some of my recommendations for SSDs or hard drives of some of the budget versions or things like that, then find the link in the description as well as this T-Force SSD over here. A little surprise if you have watched this video until this point that there is a giveaway. If you find the links in the description, Team Group is actually giving away some of these SSDs and RAM and some other things. So check out the giveaway in the description below so you might get some free stuff. Mr. Very Very is very impressed. <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you know the drill. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Over here. Drops the SSD. Good job there's no moving compartments. <laughs> <laughs>